Yo, what's awesome, up everyone? It's your boy! Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I'm going to showcase you guys Magic Specters. If you guys have keep, I've been keeping up with the content lately, I just posted a video beating three Yugi Tubers with this deck. So, if you guys are ready for this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below what Pendulum decks you guys want me to do next. I did Perform Pal, I did Zephyr, I did Magician, I did Magic Specters. Let me know, because guess what? Today on Patreon, I'm posting about Metal Foes. The sickest Metal Foes combo over two card VFD down below on, on Patreon. So sign up below and comment down below what other Pendulum decks you want me to talk about. But with that being said, today's deck is Magic Specters. So let's get started on Magic Specters deck profile. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Before we get started with Magic Specter video, don't forget to get the beautiful Magic Specter, Kieran, and Joker and Double Iris Playmat. Get it right now. With that being said, it's time, boys. It's time for the Magic Specter's deck profile. Let's go. It's Magic Specter time, baby. Let's go. This is going to be a sick video. I'm so hyped to show you guys this video. So smash the subscribe button and let's get it. First things first, I'm going to showcase you guys pure Magic Specter's. Then I'm going to showcase you guys Magic Specter Performer Paul Zephra. That is really good for the meta. And then I'm going to show you guys lastly, uh, Perform Ball Magic Specter deck at the end, which I think is, there's no D shifter, no hand trap. It's just way more powerful than the rest, except it's worse versus the meta. But I do recommend the best out of all of these three are either going to be this version you guys are about to look at right now or the middle one. So let's get started, boys. First things first, you got Triple Bambuku, Triple Nekomata, Triple Fox, Triple Ogama. There's a reason behind this. And yes, we're playing Zephyrus in here as well. The reason being is that this deck needs another engine to be able to Pendulum Summon. You can't just play max out Magic Specters. You won't do anything. You need a, a, any deck that has effect in the scale. And the car, the fact that it has something in the scale, like you need something in the scale for, to actually pen summon these. So you can play Triple Booker, Triple Toad, Triple Fox, and Triple Ogama. We don't play the Crow. The reason behind not playing the Crow is that it's a scale 5. You need more low scales. Zephrath gets you the high scale all the time. It always gets you the high scale. Uh, and if you don't have the high scale, you can't really, it's really tough to play. But for the low scale, that's how you play Triple Nekomata. So the low scale is going to be either Bambuku searching the Nekomata, Nekomata itself, it's going to be Fox as a low scale, or it's going to be Majesty's Pegasus, which is going to tribute a Magic Spectre to Special Bambuku to search a low scale. So the Magic Spectre engine gets you the low scale. The Zephyr engine gets you the high scale, and you Pendulum Summon, Zephyr Nui, and the Magic Spectre is the plus. Uh, triple, so that's why you play triple, the max out of Zephyrath, you play triple Zephyr Nui, because it's going to be a very grindy duel. One scale one, just in case. You don't always need to pen Summon the Magic Spectres. If you open many Zephyr cards, you could always go uh, Zephyrath is high scale, Zephyr Tubin low scale, and just normal Summon all the Magic Spectres if you don't want too many. Triple Extravagance, because this deck's extra deck just doesn't fucking matter. Triple Zephyr Providence, Triple Oracle of Zephyr, Triple Majesty's Pegasus, Terraforming and Set Rotation. The field spells in this deck are absolutely amazing. Uh, four traps in total, one Tornado, one Tempest, and then one Divine Strike, one Nine Pillars. Sometimes you could brick on these traps, but you also have to keep in mind that uh, literally two of these traps are auto-win. Your opponent will pass their turn. Then you could just do more damage the following turn. These traps are the only uh, searchable interruptions in your deck. The only other way to get interruption would be Totem Bird. Uh, so I do recommend uh, really utilizing these traps and whenever these traps are done and you run out of traps uh, You just go for the OTK after that. You'll have more than enough gas to do it You'll have to go dweller and totem bird interruptions after that and then triple D shifter because only D shifter doesn't this deck doesn't care about D shifter And D shifter shuts down this entire meta and uh, the only time is dead is if you go extravagance into D shifter But if you open both you go D shifter in the draw phase and then you go extra extravagance. So it's totally fine uh, side deck right here. I'm not gonna go too, too into the side deck and extra deck. I want to showcase the other decks as well. So now I'm gonna showcase you guys Performer Pal Magic Spectre, which I think is probably the best way to play Magic Spectre. You don't play too big of an engine, but it utilizes how fucking good Bumbuku is, which is incredibly good. So I'm gonna showcase you guys that right now. This is probably the best version of Magic Spectre. It combines the video, the deck that I showed you guys a few days ago, a Performer Pal with Magic Spectres, and because Bumbuku could search a low scale. Or be a high scale in its own because scale a uh, scale five plus is a high scale in this deck. So if you don't open a, a, a Zephra, you can always just scale the Babuku. But if you need a low scale, you can search the low scale by normal summoning it. 
that's extremely powerful. It also gives you another spell trap negate in Totem Bird by going Normal Sun Bambuku, Search Nekomata, Pendulum Summon Nekomata, Nekomata Effect, add a Bambuku at the end phase, and then go Totem Bird. So you get a free Totem Bird. It's really powerful. And it can also get you a trap if you need it. And the Matchbox Tornado is very helpful in this build because this gets rid of a lot of random stuff that you can't really think. Like, for example, Vanity Ruler, even like a Purple Poison to get rid of it. But there's a lot of stuff uh, that, that uh, like, just Banish 1 really helps this format. Banish a Golden Lord, Banish a Winda, I don't know, whatever it may be. But it's very important to have that one. And it kind of uh, is the only thing that this deck is missing. Like, the card that kind of banishes in conjunction with the traps. Uh, the Zephyr Traps, and the actual Rank 4 Interruptions that Magicians put out. This deck is absolutely fucking ridiculous. It is Rank 4 Spam with the ability to go into Totem Bird when you want to, and even easier Zeus when you need it. So I'm a big fan of this. Still plays Dimension Shifter. Uh, bigger of a deck at 43 because you're mixing more engines, and this is fucking amazing. I'm not going to showcase you guys the third version, which is all this basically without D-Shifter. This is my version without D-Shifter. Uh, you just take out the D-Shifters for the main deck, but it does switch out the side deck a lot more. And I, I does switch out the extra deck a little bit, but uh, this version is also extremely powerful. I think this version, uh, without the D-Shifter, the whole idea behind it is, you know what? Let your opponent uh, put a, like, it kind of does this. If you face against Drytron, you hope that they put a Vanity Ruler game one. Game one, you go purple poison, you have eight ways of purple poison to kill them. Game two, that's when you side in, uh, they go ultimateness, you got your Droll, your D-Shifter, and your Dark Ruler in that scenario. And then against uh, Virtual World, the matchup's a little worse because you only have Lancia and Shifter. So it's a little verse, uh, worse against that. Uh, I did try to play Pendulum Graph in this version, but I just, at the end of the day, it's just not as good as I would hope. Uh, this version is just the, uh, the best out of, out of these. So now it's time to show you guys this deck in action. You guys have seen this exact deck against the three Yugi Tubers in my last video where I took on three different Yugi Tubers with Mad Spectre Perform Pal and won, baby. Let's go. So this one, I will still be using the Magic Spectre Performer Pal variant because I do believe this is the best version. The Magic Spectres and Performer Pal synergize so well together because they get you the low scales. They're all plus ones. They pop the stuff you don't need. Uh, Sword could even pop your own Magic Spectre, Cat, or Bumbuku because they're all, the tar non -tar the cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects, but still yours. And you just get the Zephyr for the high scale. It just works perfectly. I'll be playing against Altergeist here. And, uh, well, let's get it. So, first and foremost, I'll be going for this. And I'm going to really discuss a lot of stuff in this list. Because second Doki, you guys, this hand's not that good. You guys see any spell cards? There's no spell card. There's no Harmonizing Magician. We're doing this without, like, the best cards of our deck. But we're going to be able to plus as much as possible. So here, look at this here. I'm going to search the Sorcerer. That's why you play Donkey. And we're going to go activate all four of these effects. We're going to go plus four. That's ridiculous. Like, look at this. Even if he was going first, what's he doing to stop this? Even if he was going first, even if you torrential this, I don't give a fuck because I will still get my Zephyr counter trap. I will still search twice at the end phase. I will still resolve Sorcerer. This is fucking crazy. Like, this deck is so good. So I'm going to end up popping two of my monsters because I don't need monsters in the field here. I just, like, there's no, I can't make another rank four. I don't have access to Harmonizing Magician, which is, is pretty important for this scenario of what I want to finish and how I want to go the Time Star play, you know, the Time Star with the Dryden. Can't do it here, and that's fine. I'm going to pop two of my monsters because they're all going to search at the end phase anyways. I search, I get my Nine Pillars. I'm going to go for Baguska here. Because Baguska and Cannon Trap is very difficult to out. And then at the end phase, I'm going to get Bambuku from Nekomata. I'm going to get gonna get the Harmonizing from the Celestial Magician. And then when Zephyr Nui dies on his turn, I search the spell card. And then I draw for a turn. So I'm going to start my turn with six cards. And they're just, they, they cannot beat a Baguska with a Cannon Trap. They can't do it. Not many decks could do that. And if I'm facing Drytron, that Baguska is a Dweller. Virtual World can't play through one Dweller, let alone Dweller, and then you counter trap the Lulu. They can't play. They, they just cannot play. And now we're facing a trap deck here. So Needle Ceiling, Torrential, Ice Prison, Impermanence. This is big. My Baguska stops his Marionetter. So it, against Alter Guys, Baguska doesn't do much, but it does stop. It's like a giant hand, essentially, with Marionetter. So he doesn't summon that, rightfully so. He sets four traps. Even if he imperned my Baguska, I have, he knows I have the counter trap. So... 
look at this five cards in hand here to just i just can't lose i put up a goose in attack position i want to go totem bird to negate more traps so i end up pendulum summoning three cards after i do this he goes torrential i'm going to negate the torrential uh with this here if he wants to go needle ceiling he doesn't gain much because uh, my baguska and my totem bird both survive so he doesn't gain much in this scenario by using the needle ceiling this is something amazing like even through destruction this is so good i go tornado dragon to slowly try and pop this i don't know what he's playing at the moment he could be playing alter guys but hey you know what i'm gonna go tornado here and i pop i pop i strike in prison he changed the special I a celestial magician and you know what none of they're all different attributes it's so beautiful they're all different attributes like there was no spellcaster in my graveyard at all the only spell card in grave was second donkey that was a card i detached ice prison doesn't do anything here if i sent the sword he could have hit something earlier but now none of these are beasts so ice prison doesn't do anything for him uh in this scenario so i'm gonna enter battle phase attack everything if he doesn't take if he doesn't stop this his needle ceiling will be dead so he's forced on needle ceiling and that's where he chains imperm stop the totem bird that's fine my tornado dragon and totem bird go but guess what my baguska still survives so i attack with baguska uh, uh, uh he should take 2000 damage because needle ceiling kills his card as well so he should be a 6k and then i just swap on a zeus baguska cannot be destroyed by effects when it's in attack position which is so amazing and that's how you rank fours make go into Zeus so easily. Just put Baguska in attack position. Attack, it can't be destroyed by effects, can't be targeted. And then go slap on a Zeus. I'm gonna go Zephyr Providence to search a Divine Strike. I purposely didn't summon the Zephyr Nui, so he could stay there for my Divine Strike. And what can he do here? I just there's nothing. He's top decks a torrential. I'm gonna end up negating this. And then I'm gonna Zeus on his end phase. And then I'm gonna, because I have all this plus, I could Zeus freely, Pencog, I pen summon and go for game on my turn. So this deck is fucking bananas. I'm a big fan of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this this whole duel. I hope you enjoy this whole video. Cause I did spend a long time on Magic Specters. Pet best deck. We're gonna do this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to check out Patreon. I'm gonna try to see you guys two minute pet meta videos every day. Go check it out. And lastly, don't forget to get the beautiful computer planet. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>